Hi, welcome to Moina Bass Fishes. I'm Jim Moina. We are at Lake Okeechobee where we are going to start the season opener for the MLF Tackle Warehouse Invitationals. All right, so this is the big deal. The whole goal, this is it. This is the whole goal for me is to qualify for the Bass Pro Tour. And this is how you do it, by fishing these invitationals. There's six of them. First one's here at Lake Okeechobee. <clears throat> They're going to take the top eight in the Angler of the Year points. And those eight anglers are going to have the option of fishing the Bass Pro Tour next year. That is my goal. That's why I'm here. It's got to be done. I got to get this thing done. I, this is, I'm not <clears throat> fishing in this minor league stuff. Is does not sit well with me. I've had a long career of fishing at the top level. And here I am fishing in the minor leagues again. I don't like it. I'm not happy about it. Um, but in the end, it is what it is. It's, this is where I ended up. Had I caught the fish better over the years, I wouldn't be in this situation. But I am. And i got to get this thing done. Um, it's been a long time. Since I've finished in the top eight in the Angler of the Year points, I've done it three times in my career uh, on the uh, FLW Tour. Um, I've done it in other tours as well. Um, but I've done it three times, and it's probably been 10 years since I've done it. The last three years, I've had a 27th, 25th, and a 25th in the Angler of the Year points. So it's going to take better performance than what I've had over the last three years. What, what I really was lacking in the last few years was probably, or was, just the, the punching through and, and posting some top 10 finishes. I've had a lot of in-the-money finishes, but typically it's been like 20th place to 60th place kind of money finishes, consistently in that range. You know, you're getting paid, but not advancing to the next level. So what i got to do is start closing on, on these tournaments, finishing them, you know, just coming up with that big catch. That's what's got to be done. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm 57 years old. I don't have a lot left. Uh, a lot of, I don't have a lot of time left in the sport, more than likely, especially, at, you know, trying to punch through to get to the top level. I got to do it now. I can't wait. I can't, I mean, this can't go on. It's got to happen. So, anyways, today was spent, uh, we couldn't fish today. Practice starts tomorrow. We'll get three days. Tournament starts Wednesday. Today was uh, just all about preparation. I've been spending the last few days vacationing with uh, my friend, the Andersons, in Tampa. Uh, some good, good relaxation going on. And, uh just good to visit with the old friends. Uh, <clears throat> so the, today started waking up in Tampa. Uh, Bill drove me up to where my boat's been stored up at Lee's. Thank you, Lee, for holding on to that boat. Thank you, Bill, for putting me up and driving me up there. And from there, I drove it all the way down here to Okeechobee, where now I sit in this camper. But today was a busy day down here. It was a busy day of just driving, busy day of getting here, uh, taking the camper off, putting the camper on the pad, uh, <clears throat> getting that all set up. I'm trying to get, trying to uh, renew my dedication to exercise. Got kind of sloppy the last couple months, even though I've had some time off to focus on it. I kind of let it go. Didn't really get into it, but I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to try to rededicate myself to it. So, got in a good workout today. This was probably like the seventh day in a row of exercising. And I'm ready. So then, after that, then it was a matter of just uh, getting my equipment prepared. Um, <clears throat> you know, where I fished in Texas, you know, some of those rods were set up uh, from Texas. I could just transfer them right to here. But there was a lot of things I had to redo. Um, I've got myself... Basically, what I had to... This is what I got set up. I got three punch rods, okay? 
I've got a punch rod with a one ounce weight, one with a one and a half, and one with a two ounce weight. Um, a couple and a different bait on each one of those. Okay. I've got two chatterbait rods set up, a three eighths ounce chatterbait and a half ounce chatterbait. I've got a lighter Texas rig set up, and that could be I could put a big I could put a long a big worm on there, or I could put a little craw on there, or whatever something that would be more typical for just dropping in on a bed. At, you know, if, if I think you know if it looks like there's maybe a bed there, then that could go in there and drop that in the bed. What else have I got? Um, those were the main things, really. It's getting the, oh, then I've got uh, two Nico rig rods set up on spinning, and again, again, those would be more for um, your your spawning type fish. I also have other miscellaneous rods that. Uh, oh, wait, no, let's not forget. I got a frog set up. However, we had a frog come through today, so we're. I really don't see the frog coming into play. Any top water, it's not coming. I don't think that's coming into play the next couple of days. It's supposed to be really windy tomorrow. It was windy today. So it's, I do have a top water rod in the boat, but I don't have a top water rod tied to, a top water rod tied to it. I do have the frog, which is a top water. I do have that set up on a rod. Don't know how much I'll use it. Probably not a whole lot with this cooler weather and, and big wind. I also got uh, some buzzing toads tied up. Kind of, again, the same kind of thing. Don't know how much I'll get a chance to use it. So, uh, with that said, what else do I got? Then I got then I got probably another half a dozen rods that I didn't really tie anything up with. So, those will just be kind of wild card rods. As while I'm out there fishing, something might come to mind that, hey, I should probably tie this lure on or that lure on. And I got some extra rods out there with me to do that. So, with that being said, uh, it was a long day. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I got up at, uh, I didn't get up super early, got up at 7. But here we are, it's probably like 11 o'clock or so now at night. And I've just been going, going, going. Watching, uh, spent the last hour watching some YouTube. Not fishing, though. I'm a fan of uh, college wrestling and and just amateur wrestling in general, so I was catching up on some of that on YouTube, seeing <clears throat> seeing the uh, some of the latest matches there. So that was cool. Um, and other than that, uh, had some dinner here, got my grocery shopping done. That was the last thing I did tonight. Got back from grocery shopping after ten, and. Uh, yeah, so then I ate. Then I ate some dinner. So that's it. That's kind of my day. That's the circumstances of what I'm dealing with. This is this is really uh, a year where something. Like, this has got to happen. This qual. I've got it. I've got to get in the top eight. And it's going to take, um, you know, any any finish in the hundreds out of these six tournaments is going to take you out of that. No matter how well the other five go, so it's very important to be to do consistently well, and then to punch a few top ten tickets along the way. This lake, Lake Okeechobee, has been a nemesis of mine. I have a very poor rate of cashing checks here over the years. I don't understand why, because I've had some fabulous practices at times, and things just just things just don't happen in the tournament the only thing i can say is the last two times i've been here once was like two years ago and then like maybe four years ago uh the last two times i did ch at least check um not top 10 checks but checks and if i can get out of here with a top 50 um that would be okay a top 20 would be freaking awesome Never had a top. My best finisher is 37th. Well, well, no, wait. Two years that or four years ago, that was a bass. That was a bass open. I did. I think I finished like in the 20s. That's probably my best finish ever here. So uh, uh, all those FLW tournaments over the years, um, I think like 37th might have been my best. So kind of a, a nemesis for me out here, but. Uh, 
I, I love fishing this kind of stuff. Lily pads, bulrushes, uh, hydrilla. Just I love fishing this. This is totally a style I love doing. And, I mean, I've done well with it back home in Minnesota, fishing a lot of emergent weeds over the years. And I can't seem to translate that to here for some reason. But uh, I'll get it done. It's, this is going to happen. It's just failure is not an option. It's going to, I'm going to get this done. The urgency is there. I feel it coming. I feel a good tournament coming. It's just, it's not going to be any other way. Over.